Hello everyone and welcome back to the Gaming Droid, welcome back to Grubbins on Ice, a uh, Halloween-y, Christmas -y, weird little game that we've got going on. So I'm a derp because I spent ages looking around and found that I can jump down here. <laughs> and we get some crepe paper. Lovely. So this leads me to a cave. I am also very much a dirt because even though I could get down here, um, I was still looking around trying to figure out how to complete the quest to move uh, the Repugnian woman and a tracksuit. Nice. And um, I eventually managed to figure it out. And it's a lot simpler than it seems. So, so this is a weird kind of mazy section, so I'm sure there's sections I hadn't explored in there. Let's head back. So I'm sure there's a left up here that I haven't gone down. Yes, there is. And this gives me another down to explore. Which gives me another exit, and this exit leads me out onto... Um, an area that I haven't been able to get to because there was candy there, but I do recognise it. That's right at the start of the um, area. So that's. Is there any way for me to climb up there? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. So I have smashed a um, barrier there, though. So it looks like I'm going out through here, which should lead me back to the beginning. Like so, yep. And in my explorations I also found another area I can jump down. Because I was a complete derp and I wasn't noticing the fence. It's one of the interesting things about this game, that the uh, fences, you do have to pay attention to what you're doing there are areas in the fence where you can jump down. Wasn't it down here? Where was it? Yeah, it was... Ah, right, it was around there. <laughs> I knew it was around this part of the fence, but I couldn't remember where. It's down here. There we go. And this leads us up and round and down to here, where we have a zip wire. <laughs> so this is this is getting into new territory for me because I haven't explored this bit. Another cave. I take it another cave with. Um, different areas to explore and chests perhaps. But yes, um, when it comes to moving the woman to the Elder, I had a very much a dirt because it's actually very simple. It's, it's insanely simple, but it involves you not twigging to something, but it involves you guessing something that... Uh, okay, I have no idea what that ability does. It involves you guessing something that perhaps you wouldn't necessarily guess immediately. Pirate for you. And then we'll switch you into the eyeball to find out what it does. And this brings us down to the start of the game again. Okay, so we've grabbed the eyeball costume and we can head off back to where we have to move the Elder's Girlfriend because it's far, far simpler than I thought it was. At first I thought it was quite complicated, I thought it was like I had to find an item, I thought there'd be a quest. No, it's 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 insanely simple as long as you are not uh, completely dense like I am. I'm sure there were people yelling at their screen about this. So she's next to the buffet, she's obsessed with food and I need to move her. So what do I do? I put on the french fry costume, <laughs> of course. Mmm, french fries. Come on, chase the french fries. Come on. Come on, chase the french fries. That's it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Chase the french fries. 
And look, it's your uh, friend. Where did the salty grease <laughs> Baby, I knew you'd come back to me. Grubby, I didn't know you were here. I can't thank you enough, kids, but at least I can open that gate for you. And there we go, that's opened the gate into the next area for us. Oh dear, it was really that simple. So that's me having a complete, uh, complete and utter derp and having no idea what I was doing. Because it's a, a new DLC, it's like I completely forgot about the cutting candy card. Tried to get it back from one of the stupid guards, won't. Won it from him, I heard you've been knocking those guards around. If you can come across the cutting candy card, I'll trade it for you. Okay, so I need a spare cutting candy card. But because it's a new game, uh, in a way, it's like a new DLC. I wasn't thinking about using costumes from previous, de uh, previous areas of the game. My own fault. So let's get back to knocking doors and I will see you guys in a minute. So we got a cutting candy card that we need because we've already got one cutting candy card. So we can head straight back and trade our creepy candy guard with the repugnant guard. There we go. So we have a new cutting candy card. I just want to check the fence down here and make sure there isn't any break in the fence. There's our uh, battle stamp trader but we haven't leveled up so there's no real point going to him because it'll have the same battle stamps as he did before. So back to knocking. Ok, so I'll probably show you this fight because this fight will probably have enough in it to activate the I aggro ability. So the I costume has an ability called I aggro Force that I haven't seen yet because basically none of the enemies have been strong enough for me to activate the ability because it takes a certain number of turns. And you can see how that splash damage and poison damage starts to mount up together as uh, multiple characters use the splash damage battle tokens. It's why one of the reasons why the splash damage tokens are some of the best tokens in the game. Especially when you consider that a lot of the um, sort of special abilities of suits are splash damage based. And another dodge. I haven't seen the eyeballs dodge yet. So let's hope this is a kill. There we go. Now we can have a look at Iagra Fall. So what is Iagra Fall? <laughs> An onion. Okay, so it's a, a single target damage boost. Okay. Big damage against a single enemy. That's fair enough. So we've got some cake cod and some dietetic marzipan. <laughs> dietetic marzipan. Oi, you. Bop. There we go. That's another fight finished, and we got some rainbow whips. Delicious, delicious like rainbow whippy. And we level up. So now might be a good time to pop and see if there are any decent new battle champs over with our battle stamp seller. Skeleton of the Wolf, double attack power. Okay. That's expensive, but definitely worth having. So there we go. So actually, I will jump into this and I will actually equip the Skeleton of the Wolf to. There we go. So the Skeleton of Wolf goes on to Everett and has Everett now has double attack power. So hopefully... 
uh, which we'll see Everett doing a lot more damage in combat. So we have a couple more houses to visit before we continue with the game, so I will see you in a minute. And here we are, we've reached the next point of our sort of barriers. So we've got another gate, we'll just punch him in the back and kill off this guard, and then we'll go and talk to our Repugnian friends, part of the Repugnian revolution, as you can tell by the beard. Because apparently all people in the Repugnian revolution have beards. Who knew? <laughs> there. Oh my god. Oh. One, two, three. Nice and easy. Has everyone finished their Christmas shopping? Do I need to tell you that Christmas is probably only a few days away by now? Because, you know, Christmas is coming. As soon as possible. Fancy dollops. This looks like diamond encrusted poop. Sorry, Tips Creeks, I can't let you in without express permission from the Trobolg Elder. This is the UNESCO World Heritage Site. That's impossible. Repugni isn't even a country. We got an exception because this site is so awesome. Okay, so I need to get permission from the Trobolg Elder. So is this the Trobolg area? So I have to find the Trobolg Elder. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. I would have a guess that he's probably down here somewhere. Yes! One Trobog Elder. Nice pagoda, you must be the Trobog Elder. Yeah, I'm the geezer around here, whatever that's worth. Maybe this pagoda used to mean something. Raxia and Repugnius trashed most of Trobag culture when we took over. That's a bummer, you guys seem to so steep in culture. Well, not always. We're always lost. Legend has it that the tome of the Trobag still exists deep in the cliff cave somewhere. If it's real, it's the oldest Trobag artifact and would help us restore some of our heritage. We can't get to it because we're too fat for the rickety catwalks. Why are you looking at me like that? Do you think we want to go on those rickety catwalks? You will? What heroes? You can find the catwalks to the west of town. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. And we have another house with which to knock on the door. Let's see if we can get some more candy. Well, we did get some candy, just not necessarily the way we thought we were going to. We also got some bubble onions and some two head toddlers. If Araxia were here, I'd slap him in the beak. Of course you would, because you're not a coward at all. Down we go. So there's some more jump ramps, which means switching over into our costume with the wheels. Let's see what we can find. So, there's a little drop down here. I'm not sure if I want to get that drop straight, uh, straight away. We will come back to that drop in a moment. 